Tea All runners. right. Tea runners. June 2023. Yeah, that's right. I got it right? Yeah. Good for me. Amazing. Remember the month. Yeah, and the year. All right. Uh, as usual, we have four teas, which are complete Mr. Teas to us. <laughs> I pity the foo who didn't get that joke. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this one looks exciting. I will read the first one. This is the Imperial Darjeeling Reserve. It was the, excuse me, Global Tea Championship winner of Darjeeling, first flush. I don't know what that means. Uh, the ingredients are black tea. The origin is Darjeeling in India. Um, we had this rare opportunity to bring you a very special first flush Darjeeling black tea of the highest grade. Still don't know what first flush means. If you know, please let us know. I should know this because I read the, the humming, the tea girl from Hummingbird Lane. Mm. That was a lot about tea. That was, that a, was a year ago. ago. Yeah. Me too. Um, S F T G F O P one is the acronym. Stands for a special finest tippy golden flowery orange pico grade one. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Um this competition grade first flush Darjeeling black tea was award winner at the Global Tea Championship Awards in multiple years and a fine example of why Darjeeling is known as the champagne of Teas. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I've kind of usually stayed away from Darjeeling tea. I like it. I like a Darjeeling. You know the stuff in the green box? Ah, there's our rice. Ah, our rice is ready. <laughs> no, uh, no, don't it's do that. that time. Uh, I'm celebrating. The I don't rice know. Is ready. I don't know the green box that you're talking about. Anyway, I bought a Darjeeling tea many, mm -hmm. many years ago. Coco, it's not for you. Oh. And. I didn't like it, so I never drank it. And uh, we've actually gotten uh, the fancy Darjeeling Black mm -hmm. from Tea Runners, and you're not a fan of that one either. Yeah. So maybe just. I guess I don't like champagne either. So. <laughs> Coco, you're so rude. Coco, get off, please. All right, this next one. I'm so connect with you. This next one will be read oh, by Kailea. Oh. Oh. Uh, this one is Burgundy Blast. It's a blast of burgundy. Kind of. Boom! Burgundy blast. <laughs> this gorgeous tea brews to a bright red color. It is sweet and fruity from the mango. Nice, mm, nice. Papaya. Mm. Followed by a tartness from the hibiscus. Mm, flowers. Ooh. Lemongrass adds a subtle brightness. Burgundy Blast makes an excellent iced tea to help cool you off during hot summer days, which we are not having not currently. today. Not today. It's June, though. January. Um, ingredients that have not been mentioned yet is sugar. Oh. Uh, safflower, milo blossoms, acai flavor, and pomegranate flavor. <laughs> cool. Nice. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, it should be good. Should be like a blast of burgundy. Okay. Next. Yeah, maybe it'll turn out red. Oh, this one looks super weird. We'll have to brew it in the, in the glass. Yes. Uh, this is our next one. It is Butterfly Mango Dragon Fruit White. Oh, I just saw Team Runners post that on their Instagram, I think. It's green or blue, depending what you... Next. No. Yes. Now put, is not the time. Put your head next to my ankle. Good boy. <laughs> Don't do me. Well, it was my ankle. Um, ingredients include Baimu Dan white tea, butterfly pea flowers, freeze-dried marigold flowers and mangoes, and flavoring. This low-caffeine white tea has a deceiving name because when steep, it turns a deep blue, which oh, makes sense. That's, maybe that's the one that you wanted last month, remember? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. I think it is. Uh, memory enhancing white tea also has cooling property properties to decrease the heat in the body, making this a great summer tea on a hot day. Merry gold flowers and mango add a tropical punch, while butterfly pea flowers make up its unusual hue. Add a lemon to this tea and watch it turn violet. All right, cool. Cool. That, that must be the one that you wanted. I think so. I think so. All right, and finally. 
Strawberry peach poor tea. Ooh, poor. Oh, she could smell something. Uh, this gorgeous blend of velvety oolong, energy spiking yerba mate, and strawberry peach infused poor has just the right amount of strength and sweetness to create a harmonious sip that will leave you feeling awakened and restored. A bold, fruity, and well-balanced tea. This received the third place in the Global Teen Championship for a flavored pour slash dark. Uh, I'll never not laugh at pour. Okay. Uh, so this contains pour tea, oolong tea, green tea, yerba mate. Yerba. Wow. Yerba. I go, uh, yerba mate. Uh, rooibos, ginseng, lemon, strawberries, blueberries, peach bits, and natural flavoring. Peach bits. I yeah. like that. Better than peach pits, because that's what I thought it said at first. <laughs> okay, which are you most excited for, my darling? Strawberry peach pour. And for me, it's the butterfly mango dragon fruit white. Connect, please. But as usual, I am semi-excited for all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll be wild to try them because we're still a month behind. Yes, we are. We are far behind. Uh, the strawberry peach pour. I love pour tea. It is good. It's very good. Uh, has a big old chunk of peach. Dried peach. Do you know what that is? It could be a strawberry, Tony. You probably can't see because the, the ring light reflects, but there's a great big strawberry right there. You can see the shape of the strawberry. Connect. That could be a strawberry. That could be a mushroom. That could be a dried strawberry. Fecal matter. A strawberry. For all I know, I mean, is a poor tea. It's okay. Yes, it's a strawberry. Shame on you. Shame on me. Thank you all for watching. Especially Lisa. Especially always Lisa. Um, we, we will be back <laughs> with more tomorrow. Sure. And then the Whatever day after. Day. Tomorrow, tomorrow. That's how many boxes we have, too. Yep. Tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.